Hello all, welcome to my first tutorial. I will make a quick introduction to the .NET framework and C++ CLI. At the end, I will develop a simple text reader application. Now let's start. And the first question here, what is .NET framework? .NET framework is a technology developed by Microsoft that supports building applications and it runs on Microsoft Windows and it consists of two components, CLR and .NET Framework class library. CLR is an execution engine for the application we will develop with .NET Framework. All programs written for the .NET Framework, regardless of programming language, are executed by CLR. All versions of the .NET Framework include CLR. CLR provides security, memory management, and exception handling. Also, you can write code in multiple languages that supports .NET Framework. About .NET Framework class library, it provides a library of powerful code that helps us to keep our code short and efficient. C++ CLI is a version of C++ modified by Microsoft for using CLR objects, and it only works with .NET Framework. For now, consider .NET Framework as a technology that is responsible for forms creation, and to consider C++ CLI as a modified C++ for working with .NET Framework. Now let's start building our project. Open your Visual Studio. By the way, if you haven't Visual Studio already installed on your computer, you can download Microsoft Visual Studio Community for free. From the menu bar, select the file New Project. A new project dialog box popped up. Under Installed, select the Visual C++, select CLR, then select CLR Empty Project. Choose a directory for your project and give it a name, Text Reader. Now a blank project is created. Go up to your project name, right click, choose Properties. Go to the linker, at subsystem section, choose Windows subsystem. Go to advanced, write main at entry point. This is our function name. You can write what you want, but main is a traditional one for C++. Hit OK. Now you can create your first form. Go to your project, right click, choose add, new item. Under visual C++, go to user interface, choose Windows 4. And write any name you want. I will call it first form. If you got this error, just ignore it. It's not a big deal. If you go up to your header files folder, you will find first form with H. Expand it. You will find the namespace for your project automatically created. Expand your namespace. You will find first form type also created. Now you need to call your first form from your CBB file. Open first form with CBB. You will find your header file already included. Write your main function. It should be a normal C++ function of int type with zero return value. Cause zero means that your program executed successfully. Also, we need system Windows form namespace, which contains many classes for creating Windows applications. Application is one of its classes. Run is the method of the application class. GCNU is responsible for memory management. When we created our first form, automatically becomes one of text reader namespace types. Now, if you got the error message before, restart your project. Also, there is another class you should add to your CBB file. STA thread attribute class. It is one of system namespace classes. It indicates that threading model for your application is single threaded. Now run your application. Your first form window should pop up. Close it. Now go to your first form. From the toolbox, click and drag a button to your form. Hit run. Everything is fine. But your button appearance is a bit old. I mean that it doesn't seem like our Windows button's shape. You can change this by using enable visual style method, which is one of application class methods. Hit run. This shape is absolutely better. Now everything is ready for developing. I will try to make it simple and short. Go to the first form. Drag each text box. Drag open file dialog. There is a property window for each form element. We can change font, style, size, text, name, and so on. For the dialog, I will call it my dialog. I will change the button text to open. And for each text box, 
I will change it to my box. Double click on your button, an event is created. Here, we will write our simple code. I want to open text files only, so I need to filter my dialog. You need to show your dialog to the user. Then you need to get the file name. After getting your file name, initialize all text lines to a new array. File is a class of system input output namespace. I have added it before. You can add it at the beginning of our code. After getting your lines of text, you should send it back to reach text box. Hit run. Maybe you need to change rich, uh, rich text box property to be a read only box. And you can choose a color also. But what if the user didn't choose a file? Of course, your application will crash. And the crashing is the worst nightmare for a programmer. You need to tell the program to do nothing if the user didn't choose a file. So you should modify your code by adding an if statement. Everything is okay, but if you hit open again, the file we have added before wouldn't be cleared. So you need to clear your rich text box every time the user enters open. Congratulations, you just developed your first Windows form application. If you have any questions, please do a comment. If you like my tutorial, like and subscribe for upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.